This month's topic is meant to be mythical samurai. However, I'm not going to be covering a samurai whose existence is completely mythical, although there is some question as to whether he was an actual person or not. Rather, I'm going to talk about a myth regarding a samurai back in the Heian period, 794 to 1185. The myth I'm talking about is that of Minamoto no Yoribitsu, also known as Minamoto no Raiko, and the Tsuchigumo. This video is part of the monthly Japanese history collaboration with other content creators, Samurai Ninja History, the Shogunate, and Samurai Traditions of the Tada Genji. Their videos for this month will be linked in the pinned comment. Please go and check out their channels and give them a subscription if you like their work. Minamoto no Yorimitsu was a warrior of the late 10th and early 11th centuries. His life is full of legends and myth, and there is some debate as to whether he actually existed, as previously mentioned. It is unclear where he was born, but he may have been born in the capital Heian Kyo, part of modern Kyoto. He served under the Fujiwara, the family which monopolized the office of imperial regent and were often the real power of the imperial court. If he were born in Kyoto, and his with his close ties with the highest levels of the imperial court, he could be considered what was called Miyako no Bushi, or warrior of the capital. Like many Bushi of the period, one of his main tasks was to act as the muscle for the courtier he served. He was a highly regarded warrior, commander, and trusted advisor of Fujiwara no Michinaga. He was renowned for his military prowess, and he eventually reached the lower ranks of the nobility, being granted senior fourth rank lower grade. This put him close to the highest status one could achieve without being born into or adopted by a Kuge family. The Tsuchigumo, also called Yamagumo, is often translated as Earth Spider. It is a yokai which is said to have a resemblance to a giant spider. However, how spider-like it was shown to be varied in different artistic representations. However, as we will soon see, there was also another meaning for this term. There are a number of versions of the story regarding Yorimitsu and the Tsuchigumo, some of which include No and Kabuki plays. These generally boil down to Yorimitsu and one of his retainers, Watanabe no Tsuna, facing one of these giant creatures. Watanabe no Tsuna was one of Yorimitsu's so-called Shitenno, or Four Heavenly Kings. This is a Buddhist term that has been given to Yorimitsu's four closest and most loyal retainers. Between the two of them, they were able to kill the creature. It is this success which is attributed to Yorimitsu being raised to senior fourth court rank lower grade in the legend. I say generally, but again I want to reiterate that there are multiple versions of this story. As odd as it may sound, there actually might be a kernel of truth behind this supernatural story. This comes from another usage of the term Tsuchigumo. This other use was a term used to refer to small local clans that refused imperial authority. These specific groups were said to live in caves and act more like beasts, possibly the origins of the yokai representation, which, over the centuries, altered into a giant earth spider. It is possible that Yorimitsu was ordered to subjugate some small, rebellious local clan or clans and being victorious received the reward of governorships and promotion in imperial court rank. And in this, these stories, or sometime later perhaps, these small rebellious clans may have been referred to as Tsuchigumo. Of course, it could also be completely made up, with not even that small kernel of reality behind it. Because of the dual usage of the word Tsuchigumo, it is hard to say if the more human possibility use of it has anything at all to do with this legend, or if the legend is a complete and utter total supernatural fiction. Again, please go and check out the videos in the pinned comment by other contributors to this monthly collaboration. The links to their channels will also be in the description. Please give them a subscription if you like their work. Thank you for watching my short contribute. Thank you for watching my short contribution to this month's collaboration topic. I do appreciate you giving the time to watch or listen. If you liked it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I also want to give an extra thank you to my Patreon members, Coulter Nebel and Bushel, for their generosity. If you are interested, the link is in the description. I hope you will come back and join me for the next video. Otsukare sama deshita.